got one on. Oh, it's, it's pulling. It's a, it's a nice perch. I've got the net just behind me. And that's now slipped into the water, ready to hopefully land this fish. Fantastic fight on the right gear. And that's what I've got with me right now. Anyway, as it comes to the net, here we go, just a few more feet and it's going to be safely on the bank and I'll show you in a moment or two. And as you can see, if that comes out on the camcorder, it took the lure really deep, snatched at it, came out of the lilies, the poor little lure wasn't a real fish of course, this perch didn't know that, stood no chance whatsoever. Imagine if that was a tiny roach or even a tiny perch, it would have gone down the hole no problem at all, like the lure did. And I'm into another fish there. I chucked it out about 30 yards from the bank, so I've got a good, good cast on it. It's a pike. <laughs> it looked just like a perch when it turned there. Oh, do you know what? It's just, the lure has just come out right as I was about to net it. These things happen, don't they? They're not all big fish either. This is a tiny perch that's just taken the lure. A very short but sweet session, a couple of perch, lost pike. Before I go, let me show you my gear. I'm fishing with a Fox Ultron, that's the reel, there's the rod. As you can see, if you're familiar with it, it's a drop shotting rod. I also use it for that as well. I've got braid on the reel and then I've got a fluorocarbon length that leads to the jig head that you can see there, that's two grams and I've got a nice little wriggly lure that tempts the fish into taking it. That's what's happened tonight, just a very very short session. This is the beauty of this type of fishing, you can get a lot of angling in when otherwise due to time restrictions you wouldn't be able to get out there. So I've certainly enjoyed this evening and you know what, as long as you're baiting the water you've got a chance. Check out the rest of my week's fishing via the blog entry and you can find the link here in the comments box and the description box on YouTube.